All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother from the GMS North Carolina camp back with another video. Before we go any further, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, or Kakwadash, Elbarans, our apostles, and elders, the great millstone, for teaching us the truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Today, basically, going to go into a lesson, you know, basically going on suffering that, you know, we're going to. Suffering, we're we're gonna catch hell. We are in the land of our captivity. We are in America, you know. In America is ran by wicked by wicked people, the so-called white man, um, the wicked according to the Bible, Esau, Edom, you know. And we're gonna catch hell, you know. We transgress the law of Yahweh by Shema Shai, and we also are in this truth, you know. In these last days, the Lord has raised us up to be partakers of His suffering, you know. And not, and we have the greatest example, which is our Lord Yahushua, because he suffered when he was here on the earth. You know, <coughs> when he he lived under the Romans. <coughs> Sakya, this is um First Peter four and one. For as much then as a Mashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, yes. Yeah, so the heaven, so the heavenly Father sent His only begotten Son down here onto earth to do His will. And when he was, when he was, when he was on the planet Earth, you know, in a body, in the flesh, walking as, you know, in the flesh, in a, in a normal body, just like everyone else is, it wasn't just a spirit. He suffered, you know. He caught all kind of hell. But with with that mindset, knowing that Yahweh Shai, he suffered, but he got through it, you know. And and now that the the he's the the only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, is sitting at the right hand. Of the Heavenly Father, you know. It says, For as much then as a Mashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Yeah, so we have to arm ourselves likewise with the same mind. We have to have the mind of Yahweh Shai, you know. And we have to dive in these scriptures and get hope, you know, because these scriptures is what gives us hope, you know. This, this world, we're going to catch hell in this world. It says, Arm yourself likewise with the same mind, for he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. Yeah, like I mentioned to the spirit, we're we're gonna have we're gonna catch hell in this world. This is um Saint John sixteen thirty three. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. Yeah, what's our peace? Our peace is with Yahweh Shema Shine, knowing that what? This this suffering is only temporary. This this is only for a moment. Your boss yelling to you, yelling at you at, at your job. You um getting stuck in the traffic for hours at a time. Your car breaking down on the side of the road. These these things are only for a moment. These these things are um not gonna be forever. And that's that's where we have our peace because we know that Lord's willing. If we endure these sufferings, if we endure into the end, what well, we're we're gonna we're gonna get the victory. You know, and we have our victory through Lord Yahweh. We're gonna receive a kingdom. In the world, you should have tribulation. Yeah, and brothers, we do have um, tribulation in the world, you know. We have all kind of hell. We catch all kind of hell um, in this world, you know. For the names of Yahweh, by Shema Shai, you got people um, come up to us on the highways and byways threatening us, you know. But we're not going to let that trouble us. But, you know, it's we're still catching hell in this truth. Just as Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the servant is not greater than his master. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yes, yeah, so the 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 um the heavenly Father sent His only begotten Son to do His will, and um we being His servants, Lord, we're doing the heavenly. We're doing we we are servants of Yahweh Shema Shai. We are doing their will, you know. And if we continue to suffer and continue to endure in this truth, then we shall receive a great reward. We shall overcome the uh, um, the world. Ultimately, the elect have already overcome the world from the foundation of the earth. This is Hebrews chapter 12. Mm, let me see. Hebrews chapter 12. I'm going to go straight to the point. Verse 11. Now, no chastening for the present... Seemeth to be joyous. Yeah, so when you're catching hell, 
right then and there, it don't really seem all that great. No one's like, no one's okay with catching hell, you know? No one wants to catch hell, you know? The flesh wants to be at ease, you know? But it says, Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceful fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby, you know? Ultimately, us going through this hell, us um being rebuked, us learning these experiences... Is gonna is gonna bring onto perfection, you know. Scriptures talk about be perfect as your heavenly Father is in per is is perfect, you know. So we have to learn the experiences. We have to know wh what it feels like to be at the bottom. So when we become judges and rulers, we can judge accordingly. We can judge righteously because we've been in that predicament. We've understand that um we have that experience. This is First Timothy's chapter ten. So, yeah, First Timothy's. Yeah, this is First Corinthians. I wrote it down wrong, but the way I bash my shot, because this is First Corinthians chapter ten, verse thirteen. There have no temptation taken you, but is common, but such as is common to man. Yeah, so you're not the only brother suffering these things you're not the only brother that's going through these things you got 104 you have uh you have elect men all across the world fighting fighting along with you you know fighting to um to endure to the end they're fighting they're fighting in this faith and they're suffering you know all across the world some brothers are having financial issues Brothers are um, having woman woman problems. Some brothers might have a problem with not getting women. Those things are common to man. Every brother is going through those things, and you gotta remember that that other brothers they um that's that's why you have to trust in your brothers, you know, because they've already gone. Th your older brothers they've already gone through certain experiences, you know. First First Corinthians ten thirteen. There have no temptation taken you, such as common to such. <coughs> but such as is common to man, but the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Yeah, so whatever the Most High puts in your way, He knows you can handle it. He's not going to put on anything that's too hard for you, you know? And if it seemeth too hard, then you call, you um, you ask a brother, you know? You ask a brother for help. And He'll he'll give you the uh, the wisdom to get through that situation, you know? But ultimately, the Lord is going to make a way for you to get through that situation. Whatever, um, whatever hole you may be in, the Lord is going to make a way. Just like when Lord Awashai, when he was about to get put on the cross, you know, the Lord put the Spirit on him to endure those things. But will, with the temptation, make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it? Yeah, exactly. That ye may be able to bear it. So the Lord is going to make a way for us to escape these things. As long as we continue to trust in Him. As long as we continue to have hope. That this ain't the end all be all. That the Lord is going to come back and destroy America. The Lord is going to save us out of the hands of the wicked. And Lord's willing to deliver us from those ICBM nuclear missiles. And save us in the time of Jacob's trouble. This is Second Timothy's. Chapter 2, verse 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. Yeah, because ultimately, when the elect is sealed, the, when the elect of Yahweh by Shema is, is sealed, then the end, then shall the end come. The, 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 um, the work has to be done so that what the elect can be sealed and the Lord Yahweh Shai can get his kingdom and that so he can reign on the earth because the angels are holding back the winds of destruction. Therefore, I endure, you know, I'm a, actually, I'm going to read up. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh, <coughs> as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Yeah, so we're, we're a soldier. We're soldiers in this thing. We're fighting. We're fighting the battle, you know, and it's a daily battle. We're fighting against principalities, against demons, you know. That's why some brothers might um have, uh like, body problems you know their diet can be on point but all of a sudden your leg starts to hurt your arm starts to hurt that's that's um you st you get sick 
you know, that's demons trying to, uh, trying to uh, make you follow this truth, you know, but we have to endure hardness, you know, as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. I'm going to jump down to verse 10 again. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they also, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Amashiach Yahweh Shai with eternal glory. Yeah, so the, the elect, the ones that are suffering this truth, you know, they, they also, they're, every, they're going to receive a word. The Lord is not unrighteous, forget your work and labor of love. This is, um, I'm going to jump down. I'm going to keep reading down. Verse 11 is a faithful saying. For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Yeah, so if we suffer in this truth, if we suffer for righteousness, snake, instead of suffering for wickedness, you know, for transgression of the law, then the Lord is going to allow us to reign with him, you know, which Lord's want to get that after this. Oh, no. It says, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, we, sh he shall also, he sh <coughs> also would deny us. And how do we um deny the Lord by not making videos, by teaching false doctrines, you know, by, um, by giving up. This is Romans chapter 8, verse, verse 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with the Yahweh Shai Mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may also, that we may be also glorified together. Yes, so we suffer with Yahweh Shai, we're going to be glorified together with him, you know. The, the Heavenly Father, we're going to be um, joint heirs, you know, we're going to be given a rulership just as um, Lord Yahweh is going to get his rulership, you know, Lord's womb will be part of the elect. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Yeah, the sufferings that right now that you're going through is not even be compared, you know, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. With the Heavenly Father have for them that wait for him. The Lord said he was going to prepare a place. And in my Father's house is many mansions. You know, if it was not so, I would have not told you. You know? So, you know, Lord's willing, this lesson was that if I, you know, this suffering is only but for a moment. You know, if we, if we continue to suffer in this truth, suffer for righteousness sake. And continue to believe in the names of Yahweh Shemel Shai. The Lord said that um, the true men of the Lord were going to be hated. The Lord said they hated me. So they're going to hate you. You know. So if we continue to suffer in this truth for Yahweh Shemel Shai. And continue to endure. Which means to make hard. You know. To be a soldier. Then the Lord's willing. Um, the Lord is going to deliver us. You know. But Lord's willing to be part of the elect. That we can endure. That we endure unto the end. But before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekach, Badash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings, self-elect of the nation of Israel. Till next time we say, Shalom. <coughs>